This is Minister Paul, a watchman on the wall from Northern California. 11, 12, 17, 341 p.m. Let's go right into this. So I want to pray right now in the name of Jesus Christ that the information I'm going to present to the whole world through this format it could be understood and, and uh, in the same fashion I received it. It's mind-blowing. Holy Spirit presented this to me, and I pray that the Holy Spirit presents it to God's people in the same way it was presented to me in Jesus mighty name amen okay so here's what happened so I wasn't really looking for any news today or any videos uh, but I saw a couple things break the first thing I saw earlier today was that Saudi Arabia's this was the part that stirred my spirit scrambles fighter jets amid fears of war in Middle East it, and if, and if you, you follow this channel, you know that the Holy Spirit has been warning me to watch about war for a long time now. And so we'll go down here. And so it's, it's talking about the kingdom has mobilized its F-15 fighter jet fleet uh, to launch a military operation against the Iranian-backed terrorist militia of Hezbollah in Lebanon. And so this is an ongoing, breaking, constantly changing thing, which they are now calling a proxy war. So they are calling this a war. Um, and so when I saw this, I immediately knew, man, I had a vision of jet scrambling. And it was a very serious vision. So I found that vision. And I was praying on that when this large earthquake came into Iran, which was just mentioned over here in this article. And I'm like, hey, wait a minute. Jet scramble in an earthquake? And then that's how the, all this started. Please allow me to humbly present it to you, amen. So this, this, uh, this earthquake in Iran a few hours ago came in on my phone as a 7.6. It shows as a 7.4 now on this, uh, uh, this uh, global incident map, but it came in on my phone and I, I use Earthquake Tracker Pro, came in as a 7.6 and for a minute they even upgraded it two points to a 7.8. So that's this earthquake. And here's the, the depths, and there's been one in Japan since then. So we'll just call it a 7.4, I guess, Iran-Iraq border. This, this earthquake was felt all the way to Israel. Uh, the United Arab Emirates, this was a widely felt uh, fatal earthquake that's caused a lot of destruction. And so when I saw these two, the fighter jets and the earthquake, the Holy Spirit just took over. And he began to show me all this information I'm going to quickly show to you. This video right here. So what I did was I put into all of my videos. I put fighter jets scramble. Because I remember that was the vision. Is everybody with me? And the first thing to pop up is this. October 17th, 17 of this year. I said at 100% it will happen as prophesied God cannot lie. Please repent and be converted that your sins may be blotted out. It's all fulfilling at the same time. It's the timing. And what I'm talking about here is this, this Navy ship, the USS Halsey. The title of the video is called Alert, shown Las Vegas shooters in advance. Now jets will scramble, earthquakes will hit. And I'm explaining how the Lord revealed to me the false flag of the Las Vegas thing in advance. And then, and then that would go into the vision of the jet scrambling as an earthquake will hit. This is 100% fulfilled happen. Right here, this is what it says. 100% it will happen. Today I tell you, praise God, 100% it has happened. Let's go further. So that's, I'll put links to everything. And then I remembered that I had a video. So I put in fighter jets and, and it brought me to this. And I remember that I had a video about this, so let's go to this video, put in links, titles and links to everything. This was on January 13th, 2015. I don't know what, why it's 666 there. I have no idea. It's really bizarre. So this was January 13th, 15th. Now, this is very important because this is now, this, I didn't even know this was out there in my plus 2000 videos. In this, I remember this dream as if it was yesterday, and I've reviewed it. In this dream, I'm at a concert with thousands of people. And 
It's a very peaceful concert. Please listen to me because this is prophecy fulfilled. And the concert becomes violent. Those are the words I used. And so I, I, I make my way into these two restrooms, a male and a female. And I, and I go in on the right and the male side, and there's all these men dressed in black. And they're plotting to attack a church I know here. And I mentioned the, the name of the church in Sacramento it has 5,000 members. And I told them, look, they got security, they got cameras, they have retired police officers. You're not going to get away with that. There's like five of them were in all black. And they said, they said, what we have planned, they don't have anything that can stop this. And so they went out and they started marching militarily towards the church with rifles and handguns. And so what the Holy Spirit is showing me here is he was warning of the concert shooting, but he was warning of that today because then it goes into a church shooting. And we saw that in Texas. So we're talking about a whole bunch of different prophecies all aligning right now for such a time as this. So just follow me. Saudi jets, uh, scramble, check. Large earthquake, check. The concert, Las Vegas, false flag, listen. A warning dream. And in this dream, I'm attending a very peaceful concert with uh, thousands of people. And the crowd becomes unruly. And the music changes from peaceful to violent. I'm telling you, if you listen to this whole thing, you're going to see the Las Vegas false flag in there. And then I go into the restroom, and then, and then, after the incident at the concert, they all start marching to shoot up a church. I just kind of shake my head. I'm like, what? Because I, I don't understand this at the time when I get it, until it happens. It's as if God is saying, look, I'm showing you this, and it is going to happen in advance. You know, when I get it, He's showing me like I don't really understand it. And then when it happens, there's complete understanding. Okay, so I'm going to show you this one. Now, this stuff is mind-blowing, and I'm not going to be long. Just give me five more minutes. So I remembered that when the fighter jets were scrambling, I had this dream of a glory cloud. And, 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 and the glory cloud turned into a nuclear winter and uh, and radiation was leaking all over so this is a radiation alert after a fallout from a nuclear strike this video again two days after the other one I believe January 15th 2015 and um, and I linked to this what a nuclear winter is now I, I looked at these jets because you see how it came up in my search for fighter jets. Only two came up. This one and this one. This one is, is regarding the, the Navy, which I was in. And, and it's gonna, this whole thing, when I'm done, is going to end with the Navy in very specific areas that will blow your mind. So in this thing, I'm looking at these fighter jets. And I'm, I'm like zooming in, and so I played this back after, I'm, I'm just, this is the Holy Spirit taking over now. I'm just I listening. Saw, I saw, I saw a fighter jet. I don't know what nation or country this is, but basically it was flying, uh, and it was going to go attack somebody. Let me turn it up a little bit. They were flying, they were armed, they were going to go attack somebody. They weren't in the United States, where I I turned it up a little bit. January 2015, fighter jets, a nuclear strike, and radioactive fallout causing nuclear winter. Have a listen. It was flying, uh, and it was going to go attack somebody. Just like that. They were flying. They were armed. They were going to go attack somebody. They weren't in the United States where I'm at. They were foreign to the Okay, so they were foreign. So this all started with the fighter jet earthquake alert and then God showing me the another yet another way that he warned about the false flag in both Vegas and the Texas shooting. And so I'm trying to figure out, okay, 
what aircrafts are these? I don't recognize, you know, who's flying these fighter jets with the things on the side. So I go up and I'm like, help me, Lord. And so what I do is I go up and I look in the URL. Watch. I'm going to show you. Just like that, they were flying, they were armed, they were going to go attack somebody. They weren't in the United Did States. Did you see that? Climate. They were foreign to the United States. And then I heard nuclear. Sure. Was see in the URL, it said Chamorro. Pause it right there. It said Chamorro a Bible and the link that's hosting the images of the fighter jets. So I looked up that word for some more clarification. And this is what I found. In 2015, I was linking to a warning of a strike by fighter jets that was going to lead to nuclear war and God's using these other prophecy fulfilled that someone might listen and believe and so I look up this tomorrow in 2015 you know where it is? Guam it's Guam can you hear me now? it says now look the Chamorro people are the indigenous people of the Mariana Islands and uh and Guam. The Chamorro people are the indigenous people of the Mariana Islands, politically divided between the United States territory of Guam and the United States Commonwealth of the Northern Mariana Islands in Micronesia. Let me show you that area on Google Earth here because this stuff is astounding. Here's, here's Guam. Here's those North uh, Mariana Islands. And here's North Korea. But this was January of 2015 God was warning just like the church shooting just like the Las Vegas shooting just like Harvey I could go on and on I could literally go on for five minutes so here let's do this so here's Guam so I was looking at this area prophetically concerning fighter jets here's the here's the Philippine Sea and so let's go over here here's the East China Sea this is the East China Sea this is South Korea, this is Japan, this is North Korea. And, and the thing is, um, Japan had a large six-pointer earthquake while I was researching this. Korea, North, uh, South Korea, Japan, and the Great China Sea. Now, remember that. That was the area I saw the fighter jets. And so then I, the Holy Spirit led me to this video. And it was a dream I had about radiation here so I look out in the sky and my wife and I see all these red skies and we realized it was a radiation radioactive fallout here where I live I was in this house and we had no power and there was people we were on a CB radio briefly and we were looking for people and we found two two young college kids 23 years old I even mentioned that 23 and um, and we were meeting at our home here to barter with them for items to survive. And they had a they had a radiation detector, and I had a police scanner, and we bartered with that. I mean, but look at the date of this: July fourth, the fourth of July, two thousand twelve. A dream God gave me about preparing for radiation and what we can expect power loss. I was right here in this house, right here when this happens. And look at the shirt I'm wearing. It's from the USNS Rappahannock. It's a it's a ship in the Bay Area of California that I did uh, we, I did contract force protection security work on to get it back up. To they threw a whole bunch of money on it, got it fixed so it could get out to sea again. The USNS Rappahannock. That's the shirt. I'm, anyway, that's the shirt I wear. She's a very. Let me see how. Just go watch the video if you can, because that's the shirt I'm wearing. See that? See the patch right there? USNS Rappahannock. So I was on that ship doing force protection while it was being worked on. And so, and it's about radiation. So the Holy Spirit just laid out all of this stuff in a period of like five minutes and blew my mind. And now I'm sharing it with you. So remember, this started with the Navy. And that's kind of been a theme. This thing only has like 700 views in five and a half years. So I researched, okay, God is showing me something. This is not just random stuff. This is not coincidental, random, scare tactic, fear porn. This is real stuff. Do you understand? Put your attitude aside and listen for a minute. This is real stuff.
happening right now. So I looked at where's that ship at right now. Well, let me ask you, where do you think it is? I'll give you a clue. Right here. Guam. That's where. But that was five years ago. Do you understand? This stuff, what I'm telling you is this stuff's going to pass. So here it is, the USNS Rappahannock. And you see this? It's Guam. I was actually on this ship. It was in dry docks for repairs. And now it's out and it's in the Guam area. And you know where else? The South China Sea. And it's a replenishment ship. It's a replenishment ship. Its status is active now, five years later, and it's in the South China Sea via Guam. You know, the area, Japan, East China Sea. Correction. East China Sea via Guam. Does everybody see that? Looks like it left Guam on 9-11 or not 9-11, 11-9 backwards. So in closing, oh, this is a whole different video. This is craziness. That's all I have to say. I just want to come on here, present information as I'm called to by God and, and, just, uh, and just pray for you. That's all. I was going to title this video I'm doing this for you, my King Jesus Christ, and your people. That's why I do this. God bless you. Be ready.